for today's spray paint art tutorial video, I'm gonna be using Montana Gold spray paint. This is just the standard Montana Gold and some Montana Gold transparents. That's that translucent lid. There's a glimpse at what that can looks like. What's up YouTube artists and aspiring artists? It's Mike here with Aerosol Custom Spray Paint Art. We're back at it again with another spray paint art tutorial. I'd say this one's a little bit more intermediate level, uh, but feel free to paint along with this video and share your results with me over on the subreddit. That's where we get together and check out your artwork created either inspired or because of this channel. So go on over, check out Reddit and share your results with me. For today's painting, uh, we're gonna do a big old planet. So I'm just putting a big planet stencil down and doing a quick burst of transparent black around the outside. Then I'm gonna go in here and fill in. I'm going for an orange planet, really playing around with a lot of colors. Don't feel stuck to do exactly what I'm doing in today's painting. Uh, I just wanna walk you through my process to create this one here today. So with this, I have some orange, then some yellow. I have a lot of shades. That's why I really like this Montana gold paint. Uh, coming in, making sure I have that lighter side up top. Something I usually do would be texturize the planet with a plastic bag, newspaper, or even swiping my hand across. But for today's painting, uh, I'm just using the cans themselves. So it gave a really cool effect in the end. Coming in with some deep maroon for that bottom shaded area. And I've just cut out um, corner edges of some of these pieces of poster board, uh, playing around with the angles a little bit, just to give a look of where my pyramid is gonna go. I did this to block out that orange paint from showing up on my pyramids, give myself a bit of a cleaner result. And as you can tell, I'm just spraying up close, uh, using as much can control as possible to not overlap onto my planet too much. There's a couple spots where it still goes over, uh, but not to fret. We're gonna go back in and shade over that planet one more time. For this, you can texturize it with a plastic bag or a magazine sheet, throwing just a bit of transparent white on here. Uh, to give a bit of a neutral. And then I'm just putting these pieces of poster board directly on, uh, overlapping them how I want those pyramids to look in the end. So I want that front biggest pyramid to be the most apparent. I'm gonna come back over with some oranges, just uh, making sure I cover up any of that purple that overlapped from my pyramids here. And I put a couple of nuts and bolts on top just to hold things in place and make sure nothing uh, you know, lifts up and we don't get any overspray on this one. Uh, when I peel back those pyramid stencils, they're just going to texturize the uh, the pyramids. So I'm going to pop down my big old planet stencil here and come in and start my sky. So I have some orange, I have some purple, and I really want to make the sky and the background pop on this one. So uh, with that, I'm using some yellows, greens, and blues to get a cool effect. I'm trying to get away from just a black planet, or sorry, black outer space scene in the background trying to use the color palette available to me um, with these Montana Gold spray paint cans. Uh, there's no wrong answers here. You're just going through, doing what looks right to you. I'm gonna throw in just a few stars. To do that, I'm just spraying white spray paint onto my fingertip and then making kind of an okay symbol with my hand and flicking off onto the page to get some nice subtle stars just in that top right corner with the blues and the green area. Just a little touch uh, for that upper section here, just to give it a bit of a varied look. From here, we're gonna reveal our planet. Very crisp result on this one. I'm really happy with that. Now we're gonna start popping off our pyramids. So we have the nice base for our pyramid. I'm gonna come in with a straight edge tool and just shade one side of it. Something I learned, I don't typically do these pyramids um, while playing around. I, I don't think it looks the best having that line directly in the middle. Uh, so it, it plays, you know, a bit of an advantage to put it off to the side, not like I did in this painting, but I'm learning as I go along as well. Coming in, revealing our next one, shading out that side, just kissing the other side ever so slightly, and we're getting some cool looking overlapping pyramids, uh, making sure not to let that black spray paint uh, bleed over onto our planet. We want to keep that definitely a contrasting look. From here, I, I had a little bit of black overspray on that right hand side, so I try a little starburst effect. Um, in the end, I just kind of whiting it out and, and covering up my mistake here. A little bit more shading on this one pyramid. And we're gonna go in and work on our kind of mid-ground and foreground for this painting. With that, we have a nice gassy effect in the background. I'm gonna create some dark kind of clouds. With this, I'm gonna go over top with some neon paint. So the key here, I'm not leaving those clouds 
that thick dark coverage I'm going to really go in and play a lot with some colors and misty effects this is just going to give me a bit of a base and have some things kind of almost poke through those transparent paints so you'll see that here um, these neons by Montana they're not transparent but they don't have thick coverage like our typical Montana gold cans with the darker colors so I'm using that to my benefit here uh, getting some really cloudy kind of bright misty effects and just layering and playing around with little swatches, little touches of color, really not trying to overdo it. Um, couldn't get satisfied with that left-hand pyramid, so I did wind up shading it a bit more just to give it a darker, contrasty look. I'm gonna come in with some purple playing off of those pyramid color schemes here, pyramid scheme, if you will, and I'm gonna go in and make a little bit of terrain, a uh, little bit of black neutral covering up the whole thing, and a little bit of white here. Um, got a bunch of heaters going, so my paint's drying on me. I'm just using clear coat as I go along uh, to reopen up that paint. I'm gonna shade that one just a little bit. And in the end, this is really gonna get misted over and look quite off in the distance. So I'm coming back in, playing with those neutral, sorry, those neon colors uh, to get a nice misty effect cascading over this rock formation. Just creating some depth between the foreground and our background here. Now I'm coming in with my second or my last piece of terrain. In the end of this painting, I think it's lacking a little bit of something. I don't quite know what. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments if there's anything I should add to this. I haven't really decided this one's completely finished yet. So if you think it's missing something, I think it kind of is. Let me know what that is in the comments at the end of the video once you see the finished result. Um, you'll see me lay down that, that white and black and then come in and shade this after texturizing. I'm gonna come in and work subtly with a palette knife on this one, just you know, hinting at some highlights. I'm gonna redo the texturizing here, just making sure I have that contrast. That's why that black's key. We don't want it to blend in to that misty effect in the mid ground here. So with that, I come back in with some black and I'm really just being very gentle and very light here, hinting at a few highlights. I'm not going to overdo it on this one. Uh, I'm gonna bring some of that misty effects back over top of this terrain in a minute here, and then go back in and actually, you know, retouch it quite a few times. So beautiful thing with spray paint, you can moisten the paint back up, keep reworking stuff to your heart's content until it's exactly how you want it. Um, definitely one of my favorite things about this medium is playing around with the colors and how forgiving it can be if you do make a mistake or something's not to your liking. So this is really starting to come together. That foreground's popping nicely, kissing a bit of purple. I'm gonna touch just a few spots in that background terrain as well. Uh, again, less detail on that one as it's further away in our picture. Just bring it back into life a little bit and then bringing back in those misty effects to kind of you know give this a cohesive look here. So you'll see me go to town on these now, bringing back some orange, bringing back some yellow. Um, really working in that foggy technicolor look. Going over top with some fluorescent red here. And even more yellow. So that one pyramid's definitely getting washed out. I'm okay with that. It's a little bit further in the distance. Gives it a more subtle look and a subtle effect. And I think in the end it wound up working out quite well for this painting. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to hit the like button Make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications so you know when these videos go live. And if you're really loving the channel, head on over to Patreon and show some love. Pledges start as low as $1 and it helps keep me uh, with cans of spray paint to work with and helps make these videos better. Thanks so much for your support. For those of you who do already support over on Patreon, I'm talking about you, Jax, and you, Spray Art Guru. Go check out the Spray Art Guru channel and show some love to a fellow Aerosol community member. You'll see here, I really went back over that with those gassy effects. I wasn't quite satisfied with where this was winding up. So I'm gonna go back in and actually texturize it one more time. And throughout this process, it, it really clicked. I finally was happy with how it was looking. Got just the right amount of kind of purple and, and natural highlights and a bit of reflection from the rest of the painting here. Really happy with the color scheme. As always, make sure to sign your paintings. Let the world know who created this wonderful work of art. 
If you did create something along with this tutorial, please head on over to Reddit and share that with me. I'd love to check out your spray paint art pieces and give some tips and tricks um, when requested. So head on over, join the Aristotle community. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, slap a like on the video, and until then, I'll see you guys in a future spray paint art video.